Welcome back to La La Land on CRN Digital Talk. That's Nettie Liddell. That's Daisy Egan. Hi. And I am Brett Chapin. Uh, we have with us uh, CVS pharmacist Jill Colon, who is giving Nettie a flu shot. Gulp. I'm excited. I'm ready to go. All right. All right. Brett. That, and I'm ready to give it to you. Okay. All right. Hey, hey. So Nettie's getting the alcohol on her arm. And guys, Jill was just telling me that you can come in any time to CVS and, can do it, and get a flu shot. It. As long as there's a pharmacist on duty. As long as there's a pharmacist on duty. <laughs> as long as whenever the pharmacy's open. And whenever the pharmacy's open. And I'm the biggest wuss in the world, by the way. Mary so had if a I can, little oh. lamb. Ha la 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 la. It's over. And it's done. It felt like a slight pinch. Like somebody was like, hey, wake up or something. Not yeah. like a See? shot. Did it hurt? No, it didn't even feel like a shot. And I'm like, not even saying, it felt like somebody was like. It was because of the dulcet Easy. tones of Daisy Egan. Oh. So I sang to you. I think that's right. Yeah, that's I remember it, it now. It's all coming back to me. <laughs> I think that's what helped. That's what like did Like if it. I would be like, hey, pinch me. Am I, am I awake? That would, be, that would be like what it would feel like. Nice. Yeah, pretty easy. So, um, Jill, thank you. thank you so much for coming in and, and giving us a flu shot and hanging out and talking to us. It was my pleasure. She also gave our friend Steve Julian a flu shot. I yeah. love Steve Julian. Yeah. Steve Julian rocks. Too. He, he yeah. co-hosted once here. Oh, he did? Yeah, he's great. What does he look like? Um, he's Tall, a, dark, handsome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. He's a, he's a handsome guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Mm -hmm. Um Thank you. Yeah, Jill. so thanks so much, Jill. Um, for any information on CVS uh, flu, go to cvs.com slash flu. And uh, again, you guys can go ahead and get a flu shot at any time that there's a pharmacist on duty and that the pharmacy is open at CVS. Yeah, go visit Jill and all the other pharmacists, and they'll be glad to, to do the same for you to keep it keep it a productive year and flu-less. Indeed. We're, we're, both, we're both all set. So Thank you. Transitioning, transitioning. Um, we're going to go right into um, our next guest, who is um, Christy Chavez. And Christy, I know she's listening for me to say this, so come on back, Christy. Um, Christy is a singer-songwriter um, from Orange County, and um, she also is a hairstylist uh, at a salon. Hey there. Hi, where am I going to sit? Uh, have a seat right, right in the middle in the there. Middle. And um, throw on those headphones, and okay. let's chat. All right. Christy's going to sing a song for us, too, um, today. Cool. Um, so thanks for coming in, Christy. Tell us a little bit about um, how you began with music and, and what you've been doing with it. Well, I've been singing my whole life. started at age, whoa, oh. at age two when my grandmother knew I could sing. And just I've been singing my whole life for so little, this little light of mine. And um, just through my mom always encouraging me and my dad to be involved in music. So, um, you know, dabbled in piano and guitar, and... Um, this little light of mine, so you started with the soul. Yeah. The heavy stuff. <laughs> you can tell when people are soul singing, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's just, there's something deeper going on there. Yeah, that's one of my favorite. I actually was in the Saddleback Choir, a church choir at the Gospel Choir. <laughs> so, yeah, wow. that was a lot of fun. Nice. Yeah. And um, people can find information um, about what you do at the salon at hairbychristy.com. Is that right? That's correct. Tell us a little bit about what you're doing with hairdressers for bullies or hairdressers against bullying. Well, I just started this kind of in mind when I was running in Hawaii this summer. And um, we had, there's hairdresser against, hairdressers against AIDS. And I just thought, you know, hairdressers against bullying. Hairdressing is such a big community. And we have a really great profession that we're able to talk to people every day. So um, I really just wanted to kind of bring that together. And hairdressers that I know, it's such a small community at the end of the day and just let them know, hey, you know, there's kids out here that are hurting that need people to stick up for them. Hmm. So I just wanted to kind of get that started. Fantastic. Wow. Kids can be really cruel. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And is that um, hairdressersagainstbullying.com? Yes. So, awesome. how, so how, where does the money go to? It goes to people who don't bully? Um, I haven't gotten that far yet, uh -huh. but I'm just starting to raise the awareness and kind of get into hair salons. And it could be, and it could just be anything. It could be um, for kids that have cancer, like St. Jude's or anything like that. So I can go into a salon and say, hey, let's do a cut-a-thon. What's your favorite? Um, uh, charity and then um, 
we can donate to that charity and the haircut that money would go to that charity but at the same time as people are walking in we're talking to them about why we're there uh, and that's um, you know awareness against bullying Oh, and it's not just happening with kids. It's happening, you know, even amongst grown-ups. So it's just great awareness to spread the like, spread the love. There's a lot of uh, organizations now that go into schools and do, you know, uh, awareness. And um, if you guys wanted to raise money for those, I'm sure that they would be thrilled. Oh, yeah. yeah. Very, Conflict very noble re cause. Resolution yeah. and all that. What's the name of your song you're going to sing, Chris? Um, Songbird. Songbird. Yes, originally by Fleetwood Mac. Ooh. Nice. We'll be back with Christy Warner and Songbird on La La Land with Brett and Ann on CRN Digital Talk. Are you tired of commuting to a job?